A guy had left a really great statement on one of my videos, but sadly he'd actually deleted it. Otherwise I would have loved to have uh, taken a screenshot, but he'd made a statement about how it seemed perfectly okay for women to go to a dating coach for help, but certainly there was a stigma with guys doing the same thing. So it got me thinking about this idea of a video about do men deserve dating coaches? Now the short answer is obviously yes. Um, I think if any guy is struggling or man or woman is struggling, then it is absolutely okay for them to seek help with whatever it is in their life. If they aren't happy with their body, it is 100% okay to go to a personal trainer or a nutritionist. If you want to learn to take up a hobby or, or interest in something like windsurfing or painting or sculpturing or something, then it is great to go to an expert who has done what you want to do and they can train you in it so you become more efficient in doing it. And even with dating, there are plenty of coaches out there who have been through the journey that you're probably struggling with now or someone that you know, and they have been able to do this 360 transformation on their lives. And now they are having a dating life that they are either really happy with, or they've been able to find a life partner or relationships that they want to see where it goes or settle down. Now, each of them is obviously personal preference, but the point is, is that every one of these examples talks about the idea that really everyone's a beginner. You have to start from somewhere and then you can learn to develop and grow and get to a level that you are going to be content with. Now, certainly I do believe that there is a stigma for men as opposed to women when it does come to dating coaches. Um, I've worked with so many dating coaches over the years, easily about like 80 plus in total. And many of them don't just teach men, they also teach women too. Now, I won't go into the fact that I think with a lot more of the female coaching, I think there is an element more of uh, manipulation by getting women to play on their more feminine traits, uh, which I won't go into, but I do believe though that women certainly have it uh, easier with um, being welcomed into a community of learning how to be better with the opposite sex. And as for men, there's certainly that stigma of, oh, if you want to learn to be better with women, then you can't do that. You're, you're not allowed to do that. And I actually, I don't like the double standard with it because there's an element saying that it's okay for one group to change their lives and do whatever, but with the other group, no, they, if they weren't social from when they were born, then they have to stay as they are. They're not allowed to change or develop or grow. They have to stay as they are. And I think that's incredibly harmful to say to men uh, or men that you, if you aren't happy with your life, tough you have to deal with it. It's not my problem. I'm going to sort my life out and change it and be better, but you have to stay as you are. And I, I do. I think that is a really, really dangerous attitude to have. Guys, certainly from what I've met over the years, they want to be happy. They want relationships. They want to get married. They want to be dads and have kids. You know, very, very few are really in it for just wanting to sleep with people. Uh, forget what a lot of the media tends to portray. I can honestly say hand on heart, in the thousands upon thousands of men that I have met over the years, and women as well, they all want to settle down. They all want relationships and they want to be happy. So for a lot of guys, then they are scared to say out loud, I'm not happy with my dating life and I need to go to someone to help me with that. And it's probably why over the years, the, the dating community has been very secretive, um, just simply because of the uh, the taboo that's attached to it. 
that men aren't allowed to develop and grow. Men aren't allowed to work on their confidence and be better people. And um, unfortunately, you know, to be able to develop and grow, you have to learn to talk to people. You have to learn to talk to strangers and stuff, which is why, you know, guys 100% need to remove this stigma and be okay with the idea that if they aren't happy with their dating life or just social life as well, then it is perfectly fine to say it out loud to people and even go to a coach or therapist about it and definitely uh, a dating coach at that. Um, And this is why I kind of like that there are dating communities. Ones though that do teach more holistic uh, therapy and coaching, ones that certainly tell guys, you know, don't be obsessed with just talking to women because, you know, meeting women isn't going to solve all your problems, but welcoming them, welcoming them into a reality that you want to create for yourself, a lifestyle that you're happy with and that you know you can welcome other people into and they will be happy to be part of your lives. Those are the kind of communities that I really like and what I want to help to to build as time goes on as well. So overall, I don't want guys to feel ashamed that they aren't happy with their dating lives because so many men around the world are certainly struggling in that area and they're also struggling with their self-esteem, their confidence, everyone tends to feel lonely, especially since the lockdowns. Everyone is going through the same struggles, but no one wants to communicate that to each other because they're worried that that is seen as a sign of weakness. So what I want you to consider is the idea that if you are struggling, go to a dating coach, go to a coach or whatever the area is that you're struggling in, but just know that you do deserve the ability to go to a dating coach if you aren't happy with your dating life. No one can tell you no except you, as far as I'm concerned. If you're struggling with your dating life, go to a dating coach, and I promise you, you will certainly get the results that you want, or at least take that initiative and take those steps forward where you can practice being more sociable, develop your confidence and you know Rome wasn't built in a day you're not gonna get the most amazing life-changing results in a week but you can at least give yourself that momentum that maybe in six months to a year your life could be in a very different place so do also try and think ahead to the future of like you know if what you want for your dating life now then consider where do I want to be in a year's time with my dating life? Because if you don't do anything about it, then it won't change. So do men deserve to go to or have dating coaches? Absolutely. If women are okay to seek help and guidance from others with their dating life and definitely go to dating coaches to help them find their husbands or long-term relationships or even just have uh, a much more um, energetic dating life, shall we say, then 100% guys deserve it too. So if you are interested in coaching, absolutely I can give you recommendations on dating coaches that you should consider because there are so many around the world uh, that I have worked with and ones that I know of that I can point you in the right direction of. But also if you are struggling to hold yourself accountable with taking action working with a dating coach, then I'd love for you to get in contact with me where I am as a life coach and as an integral eye movement therapist, but because I specialize with dating after working 15 years in the dating industry, I can give you all the advice that you need to make sure that you can get those results faster, whether you are doing stuff on your own or 100% if you are working with a dating coach. But don't let anyone tell you that you don't deserve to have a date in life or don't let anyone tell you that you don't deserve to be loved and treated with respect as well. So like and subscribe to the video if you can. I would also love to hear your thoughts underneath this video about 
the video as well. What did you think uh, about this comment or question that I had with do men deserve dating coaches? And perhaps maybe I'd love to hear some of your experiences too. Till the next video though, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and look forward to more videos coming soon.